Are you tired? Are you getting tired of July, August, the hot days, no shade? Let's be honest, lack of fish. Yeah. Get very little reward for the amount of work that you put into fishing. Well, if you're one of those guys, it's September now. Come with me, I'll show you how to relax finally and uh, enjoy fishing for a change. A lot of people get disgusted and quit. I don't want you to be one of those. I want you to enjoy fishing. So come with me. Let me show you what I do, how I do it. And you could apply it to any lake that you're fishing. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But if you want to try it, join me. I'm hooked. Not that I'm lazy, but I'm just getting old. And I just want to enjoy fishing. Not cast, 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 cast. Well, maybe at the end of September, October, I'll go back to that kind of fishing when the fish are feeding a little more aggressively. But for now, come on. Okay, the first thing, like usual, we're going to uh, look for perch. Try to catch three or four perch. Go on the spot, oops, go on the spot. and uh, see if there's anything there. Oh, and I've been uh, sick the last four days with a summer cold. I just got over it. Lousy day to be out, but you got to get out. They're calling for rain and thunderstorms. And of course, I come out here, put, it, put the kayak in the water, rods, everything in the water except the paddle. Where's the paddle? It's in my garage. Lucky I always keep a spare paddle in the car. This happened to me quite a few times. Well, let's go get some perch and uh, see what happens. Oh, I'm not going to show you that. You've seen that before in my other videos. Let's, once we have the perch and get set up, then I'll get back to you. Got to run. We've got to run. <laughs> okay, you know the procedure, right? Follow, lock him in. Let's see if he locks himself in. It's a live. Uh, let me reel this in. You, you keep an eye on that rod. But you know what? That was silly, I think. I think that was silly. I should have should have put some pressure on him. I bet that was silly. He probably got away. Let me see where he's at line is real, real slack. Like, oh yeah. Like, I don't want to, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's hooked. Okay, put him in there. <laughs> now, clear the lines. That makes a little more sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's get this guy in the water. Okay. Hey. 
He's hooked. I don't think it's a big one. And I'm not even sure what it is. He did come out of the water. I don't think it's a, no, it's a cat. It's got to be a catfish the way. The way he's fighting it. No worry, he could go in the back so far because I'm anchored from the back, not from the, from the middle. Well, well, September starts the way August ended. Water temperature. Nice. Perfect hook set. Perfect hook set. Okay. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, got to, I gotta get him. He's not a big one, he's a little one. Compared to the ones I've been catching here. Come on. You know what? It's not a very good hook set, is it? But you see, is it on the side of your mouth? Let's transfer that to the left hand. Okay. Should have grabbed them with the left hand in the first place. There they are. I was going to ask if anybody seen my pliers. You guys aren't watching. Okay. There it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, stop. Okay. I guess they're channel cats. This one has a beautiful pink tail also. Different than the river ones. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Slide right in our water. Slide right in. <laughs> hey, but some of you guys might have trouble fishing. I mean, just catching the bait. Okay. Suppose you don't have a uh, depth finder. Well, what you do is you go close the bank. You start close to the bank. Go close the wind first. Now paddle close the wind. And then get, get to the bank. And matter of fact, look what I'm doing. I put the rod down and then I just paddle slowly. Go have a kayak. You see here, I have a feeling I could catch bass and whatever is, whatever will eat perch. Now, does it make sense? You catch the perch and I would anchor up right on that, close to that spot where you catch the perch. Because if that's what a perch are, when the bass or whoever is hungry, they will come over and eat those fish. Like I said, you don't need a depth finder. Just go to the bank as shallow as you can, then work your way out. Who cares what depth you're in? Care about what a fish are. Not how deep it is. I'm four and a half feet. Watch the rod. See, look. So you can't miss it. You can't miss the bite. <laughs> I should bring it up a little bit. You see it? Okay. 
There you go. Now, how hard was that? How hard was that? Let me just let him sit there. I'll be all right. Four, a little more than four feet now. Keep an eye on that rod. I'm going to get the other rod ready. I just might use two rods. Look at this. Looks. These things are vicious. Well, now I'm gonna. Now I am gonna use three rods. Okay, I'm in, I'm catching them in four feet of water. Guess what? Open up the anchor. Go upwind, and I am going to fish from the front today. Let me lower this, push it to the front, get this out of the way so I don't get tangled up in the anchor. Oh, nice. A WD-40 will fix that. Okay, dropped it down. Anchoring, sink it down. It's pretty muddy here. It should, it should hold me. I don't have to uh, put out a lot of line. Okay, is everybody ready? Let's go fishing. I'd have to adjust the lines when the wind comes. Okay. Oh, nice. I need another. Uh, I need another fish. I just lost that one. Oh, is he happy? Why did I lose that? Well, because oh, can you believe these guys? Don't try to hide in every crevice, okay? I didn't get enough skin here. Okay, now I got some more. He's not coming off now. Okay. Let's throw him out in that direction. One. And open up. Okay. Nice and loose. Oh. Uh, and there's my second rod. Lucky that I have a spare. Perch. I like to use the bigger ones, but. This guy is fairly small. You guys used to use minnows. See how big of a bigger uh, see how big of a bait you need? Forget about the meadow. Put that in there. Let me see. Okay, tighten it up. I'm just curious. I see a ton of fish underneath me. They all perch? There is yes, they're all perch. Okay, let him go. I have enough. Let me show you. Uh, can you see the screen? Look at that, that red. 
all that red that's that's fish that's perch one after the other that's why I'm here oh this is going and going and going let's get this guy in let's follow procedure otherwise we'll get messed up in the end Look at this guy. This is ridiculous. Make sure we got him. Make sure we get him. Get that hook set. Pull it out of deep. He's out there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's not a bass. <laughs> and it's not a muskie. They'd be jumping by now. They're all about the same size. It's trying to get behind me. I love the way these rods act. Oh! See what I'm saying? You gotta head that drag set right. I wonder if they have uh, flatheads in here. That's what I really want. Ooh, I tell you. This is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Come on. Let him have some drag. That's it. Okay, remember the weakest point. I think the weakest point here. Let's see. I think it's a 12 pound line. I put on pretty good hooks. The rod, well, I see the bend more than that. Whoa! <laughs> Hit my wrist that time. Wow! He's serious. Okay, coming up. You done? See, this is why I fish for catfish. <laughs> this is why I fish for catfish. I'd love to catch a carp like this. I try. But so far, well, I tried in the beginning. And you know what I caught when I tried? Look at one of some of my first videos here. Wow. I caught a channel catfish on corn. This is why I fish for. Okay, he's getting tired. He's getting tired. <laughs> Come on.
let him relax for a little while. Uh, what are we gonna do with this? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let him run too long, I guess. Oh, almost let this one go too. Ooh. Yeah, this see this one doesn't have the pink. Maybe the sun's not shining right or something. But he has a dark and the white. So this is definitely a channel cat. go and let him loose. That guy's gonna put on a show for us. Are you ready?